Yo, what's up YouTube and welcome to some SBC solution trading. Now with this method here, okay, if you get the right SBC and you do it at the right time, you can make an absolute killing. We're talking hundreds of thousands, if not millions over the space of only few hours, okay. However, tonight there's not a great SBC out, but it is kind of a little bit difficult to the average player. So you will find cards that are going to fluctuate really high. Now, most SBCs will do this. Any SBC really that comes out will have solutions. It just depends how popular it is on being needed to, to help people, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to get straight into showing you, pick, like, showing you how I pick them up. And then we'll go through the solution itself, guys, okay? So sit back, enjoy, and uh, good luck on making your coins also. Right, guys, okay, so this is going to be how quick it is to sell. Now, I've literally just gone into these and picked some up, as you could see, okay? Now, if we clear this, we will talk about that at a later date, okay? But let's go quickly over to here. Now, we've just, you've just seen me pick up these cards, okay? So this Hamilton, okay, I picked up four, 450 coins. He's actually now 1K or 1.1, and you should see how quick these cards sell there's one there for 600 okay and we're going to go on to this one here another 450 coins and this one here we're going to go and list up for 950 now obviously you saw we just picked up kelly's okay let's have a quick look did one sell no it wasn't him that sold but they should sell uh, pretty quick because this is SBC solution trading. So as you can see here, okay, Kelly's at 800 coins now. I think I picked them up for pretty cheap. I can't remember what my uh, price was for them. So there you go. There you go. Now the card's starting to fly up. People are starting to find this SBC and they're starting to buy the players. And you can do this for the next few hours. You can do this every single night at 6 p.m., guys, and you can make hundreds of thousands of coins just through this method. So here we go. I'm not going to get greedy. That card could potentially go up to, uh, you know, 2, 3K. But because for the sake of the video, I'm going to put that Kelly card up, okay, at 950 coins. Now, not every single card that you pick up is going to go up in price, guys. So if you get it wrong, okay, don't worry about it. You can always make those coins back another way. Okay, so we're going to go like 900 there. It's doubling our coins on these. Now, silver seem to be a good way of actually getting this method to work and as you can see here quickly there's a kelly sold at 900 coins it's instantly double profit so i'm going to find a couple more and then i'll show you guys how to do it right okay so i've just quickly picked up another one to show you guys okay now this card here is at 1.8 1.9k now i'm pretty sure he's gonna go past 1.9k okay so as you can see here we're pretty much laughing in the profit because you'll see in a second how much we paid for this guy. So we're paying 1.8k is what we're selling for. So we could even wait maybe a little bit longer. I do suggest you guys do wait a little bit. However, if you wait too long, people will move on to another SPC. Okay, and you will be stuck with some of the players. So just bear that in mind, guys. Do not go mental. Okay, uh, the other guy that we picked up is this guy here. Okay, so we're going to go and quickly type in his name. And this should bring up a guy that's hopefully just made us a ton of money. So again, let's move this down to a thousand coins. Now, as you can see here, okay, he's sitting around a thousand. That's kind of good. I'm kind of glad that's happened because it's going to show you that not every single card goes up. Now, as you can see, a Hamilton is sold for 950. The others are all sold there. That's nice, easy coins for us. But let's go and quickly check that Limos card, okay? Because you guys just see me search for him. Now, he's 1.9K. I picked him up for 900 coins. So in literally 20 seconds, I've made myself 4,050 coins. Okay, so let's get this listed up real quick. Okay, we're going to go 1.9. Yeah, buddy. We're going to go 1.8 on this one. Okay, and just go 1.7 on this one. Now, I'm going to put that one back up to 1.9 as well because I don't want to lose too many coins. Or oh, sorry, 1.8. I've just listed them up for Okay, but if you look at this card here, now we looked, he's about a K. I only bought him for 950 coins. So I'm not going to make any profit on this card, okay? So I'm just going to sell it off and take uh, whatever it is that I need to take. Now, if I'm selling at 1,000, I'm not actually making zero coins. 
but the uh, the potential to make those coins was there. Like this one here, I'm actually still making 150 coins. Okay, now he could be gone up in price a little bit there. So I'm going to put them up at 1.2. Okay, and we're going to go 1.2 there. I do think they will sell at some point. They'll just take a little bit longer. Now, if we go down to the front page again, okay, what you will see is the Moss is sold for 1.8 and 1.7. We paid them for 850 and 900 coins. Okay, so let's clear those and let's see if we can find one more for the sake of the video. Right, okay, so this is where it all starts. This is the big part of the SPC solution. Okay, now you need to get yourself a foot bin. But first of all, okay, all it is is footbin.com. You search it in, anyone can use this, okay? Now, what you need to do is go up to the top right here and make sure you select your console, okay? So if you're PlayStation, obviously PlayStation. If you're PC, you go PC. Now, you're gonna go over to here, okay? And you're gonna click on active challenges. Now, I promise you, it does look quite daunting at the start, but I promise you, you can make an absolute killing just through this. Now, you can always see which new SBCs come up, okay, because it says new on it. Now, we're looking at this Adidas Copper. Now, again, if there's more than one section in this SBC, it will all show up here, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to click on completed challenges, and it's going to bring you up to this. Now, these are all solutions, okay? Obviously, the lowest are the older ones, more expensive. The top one is where people are going to click. You're not going to scroll all the way to the bottom of YouTube to find one of my old videos when you could just click on my new one and then hit the sub button. So, what you're going to do is you're going to sit here. Now, normally at 6 o'clock when they come out, it'll be blank, okay? So, you want to just sit there and refresh it, okay? Now, I'm not going to sit here and refresh until a new one pops up. But we already know this one here has a like. If it has a like don't do it okay and you need to make sure you see this this one pop up because if you buy at a high price you are going to lose coins that is possible however if you just sit here and follow every single step that i'm going to show you okay and tell you about you will not lose money you can only make it sometimes you will break even on a card okay but you will make more money as you saw at the start of the video okay so obviously you can go as many cards as you want just remember you've got to sell them and you don't want to flood the market that's the most important thing if you buy 20 cards you don't want to sell all 20 uh underlisted by someone else because if you're selling at a thousand you sell them at 950 the next person that's done that solution is going to sell them at 900 and you're going to lose money so try and go five six seven cards depending on the solution and how active it is so there you go we keep refreshing okay let's say one pops up now we're going to see this one here okay prime example this would have been the last one that i showed you guys uh of picking up some cards okay i think it would be um okay so we picked up this keeper here now if we look at this keeper here he was 200 coins before this solution came out okay so the minute you see him the reason you're going for that keeper okay again is you've got the green lines okay the triangle okay you could have gone for this guy here because he's in the triangle as well you want the strong links these mean that people have to buy it this card here doesn't really matter because you can stick any english uh, player to link up with the striker and again you can stick any striker to stick up with the left mid okay this card here those two are kind of needed because they're strong linked but if they've got an absolute solid green link around them, these are the cards you want to go for. So, here you go. He's 200 coins. After the SBC's dropped, he's now 1.2. You would have seen, if I put it into the video, I actually, he's 1.7k now. Okay? So, again, let's go and have a look at this card here. Uh, he's here for 200 coins. Okay? He's a good link in the middle. Okay? And he's currently selling for about 1.4k. He's not actually updated there. But look at this on the Xbox. 3.4 now these are the good ones here okay let's go and have a look at this card now this definitely was in the start because we made some really good money off this one and again as you can see the reason we've gone for this card here one he's silver he's not gonna be packed that often okay and two he's got all the links around people are just gonna buy that card because they need it and if you want to complete a pack and open that pack people are gonna pay for it okay so as we see if we're going to refresh here this card should jump up no it's not going to but you've already seen in the video he was selling at 1.9k 1.7k and we went for him because of the links another one is this card here you could be going for okay you could go for this one here purely because he is a center back out of position okay so a lot of people are going to have to go for that card 
um, which if they're normally out of position, you have some time to buy it, okay? Now, let's talk about listing a card up and not being able to sell it. Sometimes it will sell later on. Let's say this card here, okay, was at 300 coins. Then he got put up, obviously, into this SPC. He jumps to 1.7, okay? And let's say he starts dropping down to 1.6, 1.5, 1.4, okay? And then in this bit here, the next one, okay, because it could be a next one. There you go, Bosch. The next one then goes with that card again. He's in there again. That means his price will go back up again, but he'll go from 1.3, 1.4, up to like 2.5, 2.6. So he will go higher and higher the more that he's in it. Now, if you've got a very common card, okay, that's another thing you want to go for is the major league. So like, let's say it's a gold, bronze gold, uh, sorry, gold common are absolutely amazing for this method, okay? Because they are very, very quick from zero to hero on the profit scale. So let's say this was a gold common, okay? You would go for this one naturally straight away if it's got the good links. If it's just any random gold common, again, as we said, you don't go for it. Um, so yeah, there's some good cards in that method. Hopefully, I mean, there's not much more I can show you. It is now obviously 20 to seven after I've got all the editing done. Um, so this video kind of like don't use these players as a sniper method. That's not how it works You have to go into your own little bit here and find your newest Solution now this will work a few hours after but just remember the manic of traffic at six o'clock When all the content drops is kind of when people are going to be paying and updating now Obviously now is a good time because this card here these have only just come out So these little cards here are going to be flying up in price okay the same 200 here i guarantee they're probably about eight nine hundred now especially this one this one and this one because they strong link okay um and then what else we got here now this this keeper here could potentially go high um yeah i mean this this is kind of a poor one because you can do this with any four there and then link it in it doesn't have to be these cards uh, but again, obviously, as you can tell, these ones here with all the green links, people are just going to be like, right, okay, I'm going to buy this card for 600 and I'm going to buy this card for 600. And what people will do, they'll either start from the striker or the goalkeeper. So as close as you can go to those, no one's going to start building a team from the middle. Okay, so you want to kind of go for the middle ones first because that gives time for them to start slowly jumping up. But this whole process from buying to selling literally takes two minutes, guys. Okay, so with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Hit that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.